always ensure that the hydrogen peroxide solution is stored in the fridge when not in use. Never leave the solution in direct sunlight or exposed to heat as it will rapidly decompose. This solution should be made up at least weekly. Regularly check the airflow with a fake sample in place to ensure that it has not changed. When transferring a sample from a bottle or pipetting it into the round bottom flask, be careful to not unduly agitate or aerate the sample. Introducing air will oxidise the sulphur dioxide and give an incorrect result. And ensure you drain the pipette by holding the tip of the pipette against the side of the flask. Do not leave samples in the round bottom flasks for more than a few minutes as they will oxidise, losing sulphur dioxide. Once the sample has been acidified, connect it to the apparatus immediately and start the procedure or significant amounts of sulphur dioxide will be lost. The sodium hydroxide solution degrades over time through reaction with carbon dioxide in the air. It should be standardised regularly. Taking these simple precautions, it is relatively easy to get accurate results for free and total sulphur dioxide.